work that I chose to do my final assignment on is a Sunday afternoon on Le Grand Jatte by George Sherratt. And I thought this one was most interesting. I had never seen it before doing this class. And so I just really liked it and thought there was a unique story behind it. So that's why I chose it. So if you just kind of look at this painting, you just see a bunch of people enjoying a Sunday afternoon on the side of a river and they're all seem to be lounging around and just kind of hanging out and having some fun and so what initially caught my eye was this lady right here in the right hand corner and she seems to have a leash that's holding a monkey and what i found really interesting about this was um the monkey actually might symbolize lust which may mean that this woman is a prostitute but that is just a a theory by um, some people and but I totally did not catch that until I researched about it so I just thought that was really interesting and another interesting thing that I noticed right off the bat was the man in the left hand bottom corner who is dressed very casually compared to everyone else in this painting so that's another thing that I found interesting and definitely wanted to kind of research about so this painting was painted in 1884 and the island that they're on right now is actually a real island that is located in Paris. So one of the articles that I read said that the plot is unidentifiable but the location is like obviously identifiable because it is an actual place in Paris. So obviously there's a lot of warm tones in this painting. You have a lot of reds and oranges and scattered throughout the painting and then you have just a little bit of cool tones if you notice in some of the women's dresses. Um, mostly towards the right of the painting is where you'll see more cool tones. And there's a lot of greenery because most of the painting is centered around, you know, the grass and then the trees that are shading everyone from the sun. So, and then to the left of the painting, you have the blue water, which seems to not have any movement because it just looks pretty flat to me. And the boats don't seem to be really going anywhere unless they're being rowed by the men in the boat if you see the canoe with the foreman in it and then the lady sitting on the end of the boat being shaded with an umbrella so it makes me wonder what is taking place on this river um it could be some kind of an event that is taking place so that would make sense why everyone is facing towards the river and kind of looking out and watching that area There are some animals in this painting, so there are two dogs and then that monkey that I talked about earlier in the video. Um, I saw an article that mentioned something that none of the figures are really communicating to each other, like you don't see much communication between them, but the relationships between the people are definitely ident like identifiable So, and implied, so you see over in the right hand corner in the furthest right side of the painting you see a group of three people and then in the front you see the man and the woman and you see the woman standing next to a small child and so relationships are definitely applied in this painting but there's no not a lot of communication between them which makes it hard to distinguish what is going on here so this painting is actually an oil on canvas it's quite large let me find the dimensions so the dimensions are 27 by 41 inches so it's pretty big um, yeah so I just found this painting really interesting there are some symbols and if you see this flag that's hanging on the side of the boat right there and then you see some kind of soldiers or something going on right here and all of the females are dressed the same for the most part. They're all wearing these big dresses and they just are all different colors. And then you see multiple people that have umbrellas right here and right there and right there. 
And then the men seem to be dressed the same as well. Most of them have their top hats on and they're in suits and a lot of them are carrying canes. So everyone very much likely looks very sophisticated and of middle class. And then you have this man in the bottom left hand corner that is lounging more than a lot of the other people in this painting and he is wearing a baseball cap, a tank top, and like just a very casual outfit. So it's just something really interesting to think about and I just wonder what his story is and why he's there and why he is connected to this painting and connected to the event that may be taking place. So So I think that's pretty much it. All of the interesting, most interesting things that I found in this painting um, that I mentioned in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this painting.